Yes, Spencer, don't go anywhere. What a difference a day makes in the weather department. That's right. Let's send things over to Storm Tracker 13 Chief Meteorologist Spencer Atkins for a check of the forecast. Spencer. So here's the system finally that we've been talking about for about seven days. And uh, we told you again, let's, let's kind of wait and see what's happening here with this until it got a lot closer. Some of us have advisories, some of us have warnings. It's not quite here yet. We're looking at Pomeroy, we see the clouds. Here are the advisories that stretch from I-64 to the south. Winter storm warnings, that means more snow for portions of Pike County and McDowell County, but that's mainly for the highest peaks. Where's the precipitation right now? Not quite reaching the ground in these areas just yet. I was looking, saw a little bit of snow on the grass in Lexington, wasn't a lot. Road temperatures here are currently in the 40s, even though your air temperature is about 33 to 37 degrees in eastern Kentucky, but your road temperature is about 42. So as that moves in across I-64, expect the melting. Then it will move into West Virginia. Then it will move into southern Ohio as well. There's the system. Looks pretty healthy. This is going to scrape on through at a very fast rate tonight. And here is a short-term look at predictor. We see the precipitation picking up in intensity, especially after about 7 o'clock. Heaviest here to the south south of I-64. So if you're north of Ashland and Ironton, north of Charleston, you're not really in the game. You'll see a little snow, but not the most you've ever seen, and a lot of that will melt. The current air temperature is in the 30s, so the highlights again, a lot of this melts until about 10, 11 o'clock. More snow in the southern counties. Slick areas will be seen because it only takes a little bit to make it slick.